Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot, but today I'm out on my launching a plane course. So this is actually a running track, but I fly planes on this early in the morning before kids come out. So over here we have the OV-10 Bronco by Flightline. It is gorgeous. So yes, if you're looking at this plane and thinking it's rather massive, you would be correct. The wingspan on this is 55 inches or 1400 millimeters. All of you that know your planes, you know that the OV-10 Bronco is an American plane and it was used for uh, ground attacks. That's why on the bottom there's all this armament. It's, it looks like, it's kind of like an A-10, but with props. That's what it reminds me of. The interesting thing about this plane is that since it has two motors and it's so big, it requires two 4,000 milliamp hour 4S LiPo batteries to get off the ground. So two of these will go in the plane. It's a lot of weight, but this thing lifts it easy. Flying on these two batteries, I get about eight minutes of flight time. Today, I'm only gonna fly it for about four minutes just to give you a little bit of view of what it looks like in the air. It actually has flaps on it. It's got uh, four flaps on it, like different areas, you know, like over here, over here, over there, and away over there. And then it's got little ailerons on the ends. Elevator back there goes up and down, and then you got your rudder control. The landing gear, is super super stiff and strong although it has shock absorbers it is the perfect plane for grass landings and taking off in grass except today my grass is soaking wet i have flown this plane before this is not a maiden i've flown this plane before landed in wet grass and the plane came down like this yeah and as soon as it hit the grass twink it just stopped dead. I thought I tore off the landing gear. So I'm gonna try to avoid a grass landing today. Now this does fit into my Jeep, as you can see here, taking it out or putting it in, it's no problem, it fits perfectly. For those of you with small cars, the wings do come off. You can take them off, they easily come off for transport. It's designed for that because I guess when this was built by Flightline, they realized that a lot of people would like this plane and they'd also like to store it in minimal space as well as transport it in minimal space. So that's a good thing. So who is this plane? for I would say if you like to fly high wing planes it is high wing it does have tricycle landing gear which means beautiful takeoff and landing it is an STOL plane short takeoff and land so if I could put the flaps on max I should be able to move it very little and it goes way up in the air it's designed for that in real life as well as the RC hobby it does have lights on it but I don't have the batteries in so you can't see them right now I have turned off some of the lights because I found with the lights on sometimes it would affect other issues surface areas on the plane so I've removed some of the cables for the lights but anyways it has a light in the nose the one on the top over there one on each wing and there's one on the belly as well all right so enough said all i have to do is take this canopy off right here it comes off it's a huge canopy with the two pilots and there's a ton of space in there to put our batteries let me show you this is where i'm going to fit two of these batteries in there Make sure I have the right plane selected. There it is, OV-10 Bronco, so we're all set to go. For battery connectors, it comes with two XT60 connectors, but I've modified them so that they connect into my Spectrum batteries here. These two four-cell batteries go right to the nose, and you have one massive strap, battery strap, to hold them in place. Take your battery cables and plug it in, and it will start up. Put our cover back on. And we're all set to go. Check our surface areas. We have ailerons, no problem. I'll show you the flap system, all four of them. Going Flap, down, flaps look max. at that. Flaps mid, flaps level. There we go. In the rear, we've got elevators. And of course we have rudder control. There we go. Then our forward section, we have our motors. There we are, we're all set to go. All right, so on the field, we have Joe over there flying a plane. So I'm gonna avoid him. All right, this would be a short flight. I have a camera on the tail and I also have one over on the wing. You probably can't see me, but I'm down here someplace. All right, let's go fly. Flaps mid. Put flaps on. I'll try not to hit Joe. Motor arm. Here we go. Going up. And we're going to put the gear up. Gear up. There we go. We'll bring it around. Out of the sun. And I'll take the flaps, flaps off. Flaps level. There we go. Now I have more control. Bring it around. Low pass. The whole objective with this big plane is not to crash into anything or anybody. There we are, coming around. Try to do a little slower pass this time. This time is for remaining landing. four minutes. There we go, slower pass. Look at this thing. And full speed.
when I come from the woods, Joe, you're gonna have to really move out of the way because it does bounce. I'll be landing in about another minute. It's a short flight, so if you can get your plane down quickly, that'd be great. There we go, up in the air. I'm gonna take a different route here. Go this way, come back this way. Joe's coming in for a landing, so I'm getting out of his way. All right. You can see it in some of the cameras, Joe landing. He's, he's doing me a favor and getting out of the way before I bring this one in for a landing because it's so freaking big. Time remaining three minutes. All right, here we go. This is just a short flight just to show you this baby. So landing gear down. Gear down. And slow it away down. And then come this way and miss all the trees. Oh, and I hit the grass anyways. <laughs> I hit the grass. I didn't want to land on grass. Oh, and my canopy popped up. <laughs> you never want a canopy to come off in the air. So make sure I get that in tighter next time. There were. Maybe I didn't lock it in all the way. But that was the maiden flight. I didn't keep it too long because I just wanted to show you, the viewers, how it flies. And it flies beautifully. It's a plane you take out to the field when you want to impress people in the sky, on the ground. Uh, you'll get tons of people always coming over to check it out. Okay, let's taxi it back over to my GoPro over there. <laughs> And bring it over to my GoPro. And put the brakes on. And there we go. So that was the flight of the OV-10 Bronco. It was not a maiden. I bought this plane, I think, late last year or early this year in 2023. I assembled it sometime in the summer. I can't remember when. I flew it. And every time I fly it, it flies great. So it's definitely a plane I recommend to people that want something different. The price is pretty decent as well. I bought this from Motion RC, but you can get it from RC Castle. You can check the prices because when you have the price, sometimes they have free shipping. Sometimes they charge you for shipping. So take the price of the plane then ship in and see which one comes out to the lesser price and that's what you should get so i'm going to put the links to motion rc and rc castle below you might want to go check them out and you'll see this plane is just under 400 dollars us <laughs> on one site on another site it's even less than that so uh yeah if you've got deep pockets this is the plane to get and you'll enjoy it for a very long time the only issue i've had with this plane is inside there's a little junction box where you plug everything into that's a great junction box except for some reason mine burnt out within a few weeks and uh, so i've just pulled all the cables out of it uh, except for the ailerons and now i just run extension cables to control everything else and it works fine all right guys hope you enjoyed this video if you have questions on the bronco just post them below and i'll get back to you and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you in a future video with many more rc plane reviews and as well drones helicopters rc cars and uh, i think that's it this year i'm not reviewing boats maybe next year i'll review rc boats all right guys thanks for watching catch you the next one bye